Jordan, one thing that I love about your movies is they, they, they feel like a bad dream to me. Like when I have a nightmare, I like I usually know I'm in a nightmare, but then I wake up and I'm like, what was my brain trying to tell mm -hmm. me? And I feel like there's always something else to your movies like that. So this is the first time I've ever had a chance to actually talk to you face to face. So mm -hmm. I'll just ask you like this time, was there anything else you were trying to tell me? Well, I mean, look, I can say, you know, nightmares have this uncanny valley. They have this surreal, liminal space that I'm just, I just love. I love the, I love when something's creepy in a way you almost don't even know why, but it just is. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when I have a really juicy nightmare, it's in that tone. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, 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 uh, I'm taking kind of the, the way some of these uh, things intersect in my psyche in a very dark way and trying to turn them into a story. One thing I hate about modern day trailers is they give everything away. But what I love about your trailers is they always maintain that mystery. So how much input do you actually have with cutting the trailers? I mean, uh, the, the, the answer is that I, I get a, a lot of input. You know, they're, they're not doing anything that, you know, I wouldn't want them to do f to, to set up my story. Yeah. Um, truth of the matter is, you, you, it's hard to really give much away in this film, um, I think, because uh, inherently it's a flying saucer film. It has, it, it's, it, it's, it's a UFO is, is a mask, the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a flying box. The audience is automatically going to be um, fascinated and, 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 uh, and want to know what's inside. And so... Um, yeah, I'm not, not going to tell you what's inside, so <laughs> yeah. we're good. The movie's very different from other UFO sort of films, right? But was there any one particular UFO film growing up that inspired you in a way that like, you really took after to make this? I mean, Close Encounters of the Third Kind yes. is, is the, uh, the quintessential UFO film, and Steven Spielberg knew that when he was making it. Yeah. Um, and I have so much admiration for how far he pushed um, and, and how far he pushes his, him, himself and, and uh, how ambitious he is in the scope of his stories. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I wanted to bite off something with that scope in that, that subgenre that, mm -hmm. is, um, that isn't uh, ventured uh, often enough in my mind. And I wanted to do something really dark and really m messed up. Yeah, well out of all the work that you've done so far, is there anything like, are there any sequel ideas kicking around for anything that you've done? And, and if so, which one would that maybe be? I see, uh, very good, very good. You thought you'd slip that past me, get me to drop the news of the century right here. Very good. We can keep it between us if you want. You get nothing. I'll cut it out. I'll You're cut it out. You're getting nothing. I was honestly just hoping you were gonna say Keanu. <laughs> Keanu too, maybe, not, you know, that, that one's not in the works. Um, you know, I will, we'll, I'm, no comment, how about that? Perfect. An official no comment. Thank you so much. So OJ and Emerald have such a great brother-sister dynamic. How long did it take for you guys to sort of get into that, like, that mode? No not, time. We're not, we took about uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, we just hung out, um, out here, and then just kinda, then the night took us. Yeah? <laughs> uh, no, Kiki took us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, it kinda got the bond from there. When you guys have the one scene where you're slapping hands and everything, I was just like, oh, that's, that's something me and my brothers will do. Like, oh, that's, no. that, like that hit me right there. I was like, God, that's good. That's yeah. good. So, um, so Nope is, um, it's very similar, but very different from a lot of other sort of UFO movies. And I'm, not, I'm trying not to get into spoilers, but growing up, did you guys have any specific UFO sci-fi movies that you really love? Like, what's your favorite? UFO sci-fi movies? What would be my favorite? I watched Close Encounters a few years ago and I was like this is amazing and it's aged really well yeah and like I thought that that was amazing um what the UFO <laughs> Independence Day <laughs> yeah I mean that's I guess me. like the one that's coming to me but I'm like that's I don't want to say I guess with sci-fi you know it, it goes it goes me I love I like Interstellar I like Contact I'm, but that's more like spacey so. I, I feel like that's still UFO that's why I was trying to like clarify because it's yeah. easy to say sci-fi and that goes all over the place right but yeah. I'm trying to like like get in on that like the UFO alien sort of movies mm -hmm. yeah Arrival was good Denis love that but yeah Independence Day yeah, that's a good so, answer. A classic, classic, solid choice. Michael Wincott, you guys got to work with him. 
I love that dude so much. Like, I mean, I'm such a huge fan of him and we haven't seen him in such a long time and this is such a different role for him. Is he as intimidating in person as I've always imagined that he is? I, I wasn't intimidated by him, but he is- I could say he could be, but yeah. A different kind of person. Mm -hmm. That is a one of one, Michael Wincott. I've yeah. never met a person like that in my life. He is like a film character in himself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's like a film yeah. character. His voice is so deep and yeah. Yeah. When he reads Purple People later, I was like, I it's could so listen creepy. to this guy read Purple children people, yeah. limericks all day long. Purple people here. That's actually an incredible impression. Thank you. Oh, Thanks, Kate. You blow me away. Do you think that OJ got his fashion sense from Adam Sandler? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I had Adam Sandler on my mood board. <laughs> A big daddy. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I did not. I'm about to say, really? <laughs> I was about to be like, did I nail it? Is no, it, is no. it? Adam Sandler's my guy, though. I love, love Big Adam Daddy. Yeah. All right, awesome. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you thank very much. You. Appreciate that. Yeah. First off, uh, this might be a weird compliment to tell you, but I have not watched a single episode of The Walking Dead since Glenn got killed. <laughs> I, it was like they murdered my best friend. I couldn't oh, I couldn't do it, man. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I never know how to respond to that. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm like my friends. I was like, oh, no, you <laughs> yeah, can't, yeah, can't yeah, do yeah. it. But speaking of, you know, <clears throat> when the trailer for Nope came out, who was the first castmate from The Walking Dead to reach out and congratulate you? Oh. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I, we kind of all just talk on the regular, so... There's not like a, hey, congratulations. It's like, yeah, yeah. yo, what's up? Um, I speak with Norman a lot, John, Alana. Uh, yeah, there's really good friends from That's that That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you uh, this is clearly inspired, but very different than a lot of other, like, UFO sci-fi stories. Growing up, do you have a specific, like, UFO movie that you, like, just love? What, like, what's your favorite? Oh, man. Um, Contact was always great. Um, E.T., um... What was a scary UFO movie for me? I don't know if I remember. I, beyond just films, like I'm just into aliens and UFOs. Like, yeah. I, I want them so bad. Have you ever seen Fire in the Sky? I know that movie, but I don't think I've seen oh, it. Oh, you gotta see that one. So That's good? an excellent okay, one. Okay. Yeah, it's the, the last like 20 minutes will blow your all mind. Right, all right, it's fantastic. Fire in the Sky, I'm on that. Okay. Are we alone in the universe? Nope. Would you ever lie to me? Nope. Have you ever wore a cowboy hat unironically? Nope. Do you think we'll ever get a crossover between Invincible and The Boys? Nope. Is the second season of Invincible gonna come out before I'm 50? Yes. I'm 49 and a half, so. Oh, wait, yeah. you are not 49 and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's true, that coconut Re oil, it's a secret. Whoa, no. man. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, will you be my best friend? Yeah. Aw. Yeah. That's, you, I, I didn't yeah, even dude, expect you to say that. We're bonded now. Aw, yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Really, that yeah. makes me feel really good. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cut this out. It's not going to be part of the Don't other clip, oh, yeah, but I'm going to cut this out. Your I'm going I'm to save it for, I'm going to yeah, show my you. son and my Don't mom. Don't even just send it to me. We'll just. just yeah, we'll okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll just join you. Well, I'll text yeah, you, too. Like, well, I'll share you with my number after this. I just feel so warm and fuzzy right now. Thank you so much for talking with me, man. Dude, thank you, man. I appreciate you. I got to tell you, last night I was at this event for the Jupiter's Claim thing. And yeah. this guy comes up to me and he shows me uh, your picture and he goes, hey, what did you think of this guy in the movie? And I was like, oh, he's so funny. I love that guy. And he goes, oh, that's, that's my brother. And, then, oh my and then he walked off. And I, oh no. I was like, I'm so glad I didn't talk shit about that guy. Yeah, that's so good, yo. My brother Mike is going crazy. <laughs> he's got your back, man. Yo, that's much that, love, much love. Yeah, he was great. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. um, but when Angel finds out what, you know, what OJ and Emerald are up to, yeah. he's like down for it. You know, he's ready to do it. So in real life, is that something you would do? In real life, no. I, I'd be interested <laughs> to get more information from them, being like, oh, like, I mean, what the hell are y'all up to? But me being the one to be like, all right, I'm going to put my life on the line with y'all. No thanks. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say nope. Nope to that. Yeah. <laughs> so is Michael Wincott as intimidating in person as I feel like he would be? No, man. Is he not? Michael is a sweetheart. That. He's like such a, like a little cuddly bug. Like, yeah, Michael's tough, but he's like, oh, he's just such a caring, yeah. big heart, you know. And it's just something you want to cater to. It's like, oh, Michael, you know, just like you just want to give Michael a big hug because he's such like he has such a good heart, like a little kid, like, and he's just playing all the time. Just like he's just so free minded, just like running around, and he just cares about his art form so much. And I learned a lot from working with him and just watching him how he works. So. Yeah, I love Michael, man, and I, I would love people to see more of him, but he likes being in the shadows, you know, so it's, uh, 
It's good. I, I think the mystique is great. 